Hello, everybody. This is Bobby McFadden once again. And Jay Simsick. And we're RLA Advisors. We got a, uh, an interesting email from a, a lady, actually, who was asking, what do I do with my husband who has a low libido? Yeah. So um, don't want to act like a doctor because I'm not. Didn't nope. stay at a Holiday Inn Express. There's nothing I could do in that regard. But if you feel like there is a medical condition, I would encourage you to seek medical help. Yeah, absolutely. We can't help you with that. Yep. I, I can't make any recommendations past that. However... If there is no medical condition. And uh, let me preference something. You okay. don't know. You don't know if there's a medical condition if you haven't talked about it. True. So the first thing I would suggest is talking about yeah, it kinda, so that you can get to the core of what might be going on. I kind of glossed over that assumption. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, no problem. I just, you know, just yeah. had to say that there. So um, I am thinking the reason that she wrote to us is because she wants to know a creative way to get him back involved. And yeah, that's, the, that's the tact I want to sure. take on this. Um I'll be honest, the, the thing that I like that's always got me going, and I have a lot of friends who read our books, the ones that we publish, and the men say, once I start reading a book, I'm, I'm hot. I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. And I've, I've heard women say, well, I wanna, I'll get him some porn or something like that. Sometimes that works. But if it's low libido, I feel if it, I mean, everything's good, mm -hmm. no medical condition, you've got to spark it some way. The mind is the place to start. Yep, and I gotta would get it revved up. Gotta I'd get recommend it a book. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. a book. But you know, also, it doesn't hurt to find out. So, have that conversation, and if it's not medical, like Bobby said, maybe try a book and spark it. Maybe try porn and spark it. And there's a multi. Be creative about it, right? But let's dig into his fantasies. You know, what kind of fantasies do you have? If you could have anything in the world of sexuality, what would that be? What would it be? And let him tell you some ideas that he has. And be make sure that he feels open and safe about letting his fantasies out. Because that might be, he might be suppressing those things. And that's why his libido is low. Possibly, that's right? That's a good point. Good so, point. So try and bring that out and see... Maybe maybe he wants to do some 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 things that you haven't thought of, and he he was thinking maybe, wow, if I say that, she she might be disappointed. And I, I'm going to go a step further with I'm going to piggyback on what you said and combine it with what I said too. Um, one of the things that my girlfriend and I did, we've all heard of Fifty Shades of Grey. When it came out, it was a rave. Everybody talked about it. Mm -hmm. So we went out and we bought all three of them. And we committed to each other that we would not read them by ourselves, and we read them to each other allowed and this the, you know not only was that hot we, we read it in the car on trips we read it at, at night just sitting around having a glass of wine but now it's out mm. it's been said but you didn't say it do you know understand what i mean totally so whips chains this kind of thing kinky stuff but it's out and if you don't say it you just read it the conversation may get started in a different way. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm not suggesting whips and chains, but I am suggesting if you pick up a book that is interesting to you and try that, because that's fun, hot fun. We didn't get much more in a chapter yeah, and, or two. Well it, also, well, it also brings up that that in of itself, not only, not only is it not you saying it, it allows you to say, well, what do you think of that? Exactly, exactly. And if you're both hot about the same item... It makes it a lot easier to talk about. Hot dog. If you're reading something that may or may not be in line with the other's fantasies, you're going to know it right away. Yep. But at least you're there. You, you've come to the doorstep. You can open the door and, and choose to walk through or not. So Yeah, totally. That's, that's, that's a couple clues. Yeah, well, I think I think that the key, though, is, is, is opening up that conversation and also being creative about how you do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we could come up with, we could sit here and talk all day probably on mm -hmm. things to do. Yeah. But it's, it's really what's in your world right now. What can you shift that will um, engage some things that you haven't engaged before? True, true. So I'd say take those steps. Um, yeah, again, in one of our videos before we talked about take the pressure off. Mm -hmm. If you put pressure on a situation like this, it doesn't have a, a real hope to get better right away. Oh, that's a great point. Keep, yeah, I mean, gosh, you can't stress that enough. Keep the pressure off. Mm -hmm. Make it light, engaging, and fun, not like... We need to do this right now. Yeah, it, it, yeah. that will that will make a, a, a shift that you probably don't want. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Great point. Great uh, point. Keep that going and uh, try some things out. And I, one of the things I would beg of you is uh, one subscribe. 
get back to us. Let us know what you've tried, uh, what happened, what was successful, and maybe what we missed in this video. Yeah. Hey, click the link down in the description. It'll mm -hmm. take you to a web page that you can uh, sign up for our newsletter. And we'll keep you updated with any new videos that come out and also when uh, when we publish any new books new, from the authors books. that are that are in our um, that we're, we're in publishing. Our portfolio. In our portfolio. And we've got a couple of new ones coming out uh, in the next two weeks. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it should be good. Speaking of hot things. Yep, totally. Well, that's all I got today. Yeah, me too. I'm Bobby. And I'm Jay. This is RLA Advisors. We'll see you next time. See ya.